Good morning, my friends. And so today, we come again to that practice of cultivating joy, of making joy contagious whenever we have the opportunity to do that, and of being willing to receive joy, even in those times when we live in fear of disappointment coming next. I mean, so what? That is the wave of life, joy and sadness, uplift and downlift and uplift again, if we look for it and if we're mindful. Otherwise, we miss the whole thing in a state of mindless unawareness. So let us keep our practice of mindfulness going because it's worth it and it's life-changing. Let us be seated. Allowing yourself to notice the support of the air that you breathe as it comes into your lungs. Noticing the coolness as you breathe in. The warmth as you breathe out. Noticing the support underneath of you and how that changes with the in-breath and the out-breath, the way that you experience the support of that chair or the sounds around you or your attention as it focuses or becomes scattered. And just allow your breathing to move naturally, quietly in your belly. Allow it to settle you like a pebble, a magic pebble, settling slowly from the surface down to the bottom where it is of the pond, where it is quiet and calm. Breathing in, I know This breath is nourishing every part of me, and I feel it. Breathing out, I notice the calm of softly letting go of all effort. This is a moment where joy becomes possible in the present, in full awareness of everything that is right with the world and with the world inside you. You can see how that takes conscious effort because there are many things that are possibly wrong with the world or the space inside you that you're uncomfortable with. That's not our focus today. We need balance. I came across a quote the other day from, of all people, George Bernard Shaw. And I say that because I'm not a great follower of his, although I appreciate his writing. And he took further what we began to reflect on in our last meditation, the true joy of life found in giving away what we can of our heart, our life, our smile, our generosity, to someone else. Shaw says it this way. See what stands out to you. This is the true joy in life, being used for a purpose, recognized by yourself as a mighty one, being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clod of ailments and grievances, complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live it, it is my privilege to do for that community what I can. It is a sort of splendid torch, which I have got hold of for the moment, and I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. listening again for what stands out to you. 
in this reflection. This is the true joy in life, being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one, being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clot of ailments and grievances, complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community. And as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for that community what I can. It is a sort of splendid torch, which I have got hold of for the moment, and I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. What stands out to you? What might there be about the joy in this life that you want to hand on to future generations? Whether it's your child, your grandchild, or someone you're not even related to, what do you want to hand on to spread the contagion of joy, as Mother Teresa calls it? As you reflect on your life and your gifts, what are the gifts that you bring to life? The qualities of your character, the skills and wisdom that you may have learned by now, or the questions that you have about the purpose and the joy in life. There might be questions others need to hear as well. If you thought of it in this way, I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community. And as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for that community what I can. It is a sort of splendid torch, and I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. And I would add, while handing it on to those who are in my life right now and connect with me. Reflect on this, my friends. If you believe or could believe that your life belongs to the whole community of creation, that you are part of that living flow of potentially contagious joy and awe in the ways in which life moves, compassionate in sorrow and generous in joy. Reflect on where and in what way you could offer that this week to someone or in a certain situation. Where could you bring your light and allow it to illuminate the darkness of another person simply by being there, not by having a smart solution, but having a loving presence. As Ty says, my darling, I am here for you and I know that you suffer. Where could you be a sort of splendid torch for a moment and make it burn as brightly as possible. We all have the capacity to feed joy and water those seeds or to feed as Shaw said and I admit it made me laugh being a feverish selfish little clod of ailments and grievances complaining. I like that because it makes me laugh at myself and anytime I can do that there is truly hope. So my friends, take this question with you out into the world today. It's deeply important. How would I act today if I was of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community? Namaste. Amen.